conversation. Let us just begin right away uh, without uh, wasting any more minute. First of all, thank you everyone for joining in. A very good evening to all of you. Uh, Praveen sir, Selva sir, uh, Dhruv, Archana, and Deepak Chaudhary, all of you, thank you so much for joining us today. And to all the students, of course, uh, I know it takes a lot to uh, shuffle your time, manage between colleges and just be here for the session. But uh, trust me, it's worth it, if not more. So uh, as if all of you have already joined us in CEP, uh, then you know how the entire uh, process works. But uh, this session is also about covering all the students who have been part of our ecosystem. Some of uh, we'll be sharing all of these links with, <clears throat> with the students who couldn't join us today at the same time so that they, they do not miss out on what we, we will be doing in our building sessions, right? So first of all, uh, I want to uh, I want to acknowledge that uh, the journey that we have covered until now is amazing. So kudos to you. And uh, I'm glad that we can today have another thought-provoking session of IPC Continuous Education Program. It gives me great pleasure to say that IBC CEP has made incredible progress in educating uh, students about IP, uh, about uh, Web3 and blockchain technology with hundreds of students creating a huge impact with us. And it would be fair to say that this is just the beginning, right? As you are sitting, settling in to begin with this orientation session of module three, let me give you a, a quick overview of what we have done in the last couple of weeks. So on 23rd of January, we started with our module one, where we held two sessions and laid down the foundation of blockchain with our participants, right? Uh, then we concluded module two recently, where we helped you understand the fundamentals of programming and blockchain, focusing on Rust and Substrate. And now we are starting with our module three, which is all about you becoming a blockchain developer. And that too, you will achieve by building projects with the guidance of IBC experts, such as Mr. C. Selvaraju, Deepak Chaudhary, uh, Praveen sir, wherever he could spare time, and a lot of global industry experts, courtesy of our sponsors and partners. To all the participants who couldn't be available to join us in uh, earlier modules of CEP, you have nothing to worry, first of all, uh, because we will be sharing a couple of resources, uh, one of which I have already covered. I think that could be your go-to guide uh, to what we have covered in CEP. So just make sure that you uh, check uh, all the resources, all the YouTube channels, and just uh, revise what you might have missed. And have no doubt that the fact uh, about the we will guide you every step of the way and discord is your go-to platform for all of these discussions so that will be all from my end uh because uh, uh, uh i do not want to take any more time so ladies and gentlemen let me introduce our main speaker of this event ibc media chief operating officer mr praveen thakur most of you here already know him uh, he is the creator and the brain of ibc cep praveen sir uh and ibc media ceo mr abhishek Pitti have incredible plans for all of you students and obviously all the students who will be joining us soon and uh, basically the entire uh, uh, student ecosystem of this country right uh, we are they are working tirelessly towards creating this biggest blockchain and web education ecosystem that not just in india the world would have ever seen frankly i feel all of you are extremely lucky to be part of this initiative because i know some of the experts who are with us they know that if they had this opportunity then they would be at a different level altogether. So make sure that you make full use of the opportunity and scrutinize the words of wisdom and knowledge that, that come out right now during the presentation that would be covered by Praveen sir. Praveen sir, thank you once again for taking out the time to join us today. I would like to request you to take this conversation ahead. Excellent. So thank you, Deepak. Uh, thank you for setting the context. Mm. Guys, uh, if uh, I'm sure I would have interacted with you uh, in one or one or the other CPs, or uh, you know, one of the other either Wizag, uh, you know, Hackfest, Alt Hack, or in Hyderabad, Alt Hack. Uh, I'll be interacting with you, uh, you know, a lot more often, uh, you know, in future as well. My name is Praveen Thakur, and I work in the capacity of Chief Operating Officer for IBC Media. Uh, come from the industry with uh, 25 plus years of experience in. Uh, web 2 to start with and then slowly migrating into web 3 into having into product and uh, technology mm, I'm a big fan of blockchain i call myself a blockchain maximalist because i think uh, the things which are mm, which have been uh, shown as possible by uh, blockchain technology they were not possible earlier 
whether it is uh, you know metaverse whether it is uh, nfts whether it is gaming you are seeing uh, all complete new set of dimensions uh, you know in all the spheres of life now these could be social sphere these could be com commercial I think there is some uh, network lag from Praveen sir's uh, end. Uh, let us just wait for a couple of seconds for him to uh, join his game. Yes, Praveen sir, we lost you there for a couple of seconds. Uh, if we can uh, continue. Yeah, again. can you can you hear me? Yes, sir, we can hear you now. Please so continue. my my apologies. I think uh, uh, some mischief mischief happening in my area in AHL. So. If there is a disconnection, maybe for a few seconds, please, uh, you know, I am uh, issuing my advance apologies for that. Uh, I'll try to be, uh, you know, uh, as smooth as possible. Uh, but then again, these are the, the these are the challenges we live with when we talk about technologies, and some of these problems are going to be solved by blockchain, right? So we are in the in the right, uh, you know, uh, session. So as I was saying, that this is a very interesting space. Uh, this space needs a lot of committed developers in fact this space needs people uh, you know with more than uh, technology experience you could be a, a social media manager you could be a community manager you could be a dao administrator you could be a developer you could be a marketing professional so all different dimensions of uh, you know this world uh, you know are uh, being opened up uh, now it is up to you which dimension you choose and get into that so uh, in the interest of time let me go ahead and share my screen if you can see my screen let me know uh, deepak need confirmation yes sir you know absolutely so uh, like uh, deepak talked about we are into module 3 uh, which is focusing on building now, this building is the one of the most important aspects of the whole CEP that IBC Media is trying to pursue. And uh, we have had uh, tremendous success in terms of, uh, you know, uh, in terms of the knowledge being imparted to all of you. Uh, now, those, those uh, pieces of knowledge uh, will not be, uh, if not put to uh, a great use in the building session, I think that's not justice, and that's what this, you know, module three is all about. Uh, as you know, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, two types of events in IBC Media at this point in time. One is the on-ground boot camp, and another is the CEP. On-ground boot camp, basically, and many of you may have experienced also. We have had two on-ground boot camps: one in Hyderabad, and one is one in Vishakhapatnam, and uh, a lot of learning happened, a lot of orientation toward the industry happened. Uh, in fact, it was so interesting to see a lot many ideas having been, uh, you know, originated by all of you. And that showed, uh, and that told me, uh, you know, very, very clearly that, uh, you know, a lot of things are possible, you know, you know, from you all as, you know, the developers, and we want to help you do that. Uh, we also were uh, pretty excited to find out some of the very, very promising ideas, and uh, we did appreciate them. They were able to present their ideas in front of a uh, lot of industry leaders, and it was well appreciated by the whole industry. Now, the second part, what we're talking about is basically the continuous education program. Uh, this program basically, you know, starts with orientation, then get into the deep diving technical sessions, we were trying to cover all the additional dimensions of building, such as not only how do you build in rust and substrate, but also how do you handle the storage part? How do you go and handle the oracles? You know, these are uh, essentials. How do you, uh, you know, go and uh, make your programming life easier? How do you go and build the front end? How do you use the JavaScript libraries to communicate with this blockchain? So I think there were several dimensions which, uh, you know, we, we were trying to cover for you. And uh, I'm pretty, uh, you know, uh, excited to see 
the the intake and the absorption of this content by the whole group. Uh, of course, I will not spend a lot of time. Right now, we are in module three, which, in my opinion, will be one of the most path-breaking modules for you. And people who are watching it now, or people who are watching this, uh, you know, video later, uh, I think you have to understand that uh, uh, unless you know you are equipped with a lot of tools, right? If you are a carpenter. Uh, I'll give you a lot of tools and many of you people who are doing engineering, they will understand even, you know, when I was doing my engineering and when I was introduced to the workshops, carpentry workshop, foundry workshop, fitting workshop, you know, uh, you know, first few days when I was being told about the different tools like hammers, you know, uh, using the lathe machine, for example, you know, I'm a mechanical production engineer. So it was not making a lot of sense. But when some assignment was given to me, when I was asked to build something, then all of these suddenly started making sense. Now, this is that building process where we have been giving you all the tools in these previous two models. Now we are telling you, OK, go and build this ship now. OK, now here you will be kind of using all these tools to kind of uh, make uh, your product. Will this be very easy? Of course, it is not going to be. Should this be easy? It should not be easy. If it is easy, I always say if it is very easy, then don't go for this. It must be difficult because you are trying to do something which, uh, you know, which should have some value, right? Uh, you know, some, some of the things, the important thing that will really be coming out of this module, we will be helping you ideate. Uh, you know, uh, we will be getting into brainstorming sessions with you through our Discord channels, uh, servers. We will also have a few kind of uh, discussions arranged with you. We will be trying to help you. And I, I always say that, you know, great, Companies are not formed typically alone, right? You will have to find your best team who will be the partner, your partner, when you build your next billion dollar, uh, you know, startup. Who is that person whom you think that that's going to be with your partner hand in hand and making sure that you build that product, right? Uh, of course, all these things, the success will lead you to an internship certificate from IBC Media. And this is going to be, uh, you know, something which... Uh, uh, which you will be, uh, you know, uh, which will be helping you in getting traction in this industry because we definitely feel that this, uh, this, you know, certi this certificate is going to be one of the uh, milestones of your achievement, right? Uh, of course, you will be, we will be taking you through the whole product life cycle, such as how do you solution a business problem? How do you go and solve, you know, create an architecture that could have a database that could have uh, you know, uh, you could go and keep your uh, install your program or environment, for example, in uh, one of the centralized servers to start with. How do you go and use IPFS for decentralized storage? How do you go and, uh, you know, use some other applications? So we will have to will help you build the architecture of the solution. And then, of course, some nitty gritties of the technical design. And finally, you will have to do the, you know, the hardcore programming. So I think pretty, you know, action packed module, in my opinion which will make you somebody you should be proud of yourself. Uh, you know, uh, we talked about team formation, ideation. These are some of the stages that we talk about. Uh, we will get into the business solution. We will help you ideate what should you build. And our team is working on helping you in terms of what is this industry needing right now, right? So we'll help you with that. Then we'll be getting into the solutioning part, technical architecture part building review feedback this will be an iteration process guys uh, pretty interesting pretty intense and i think you should definitely have fun uh, enjoy it and you know go to the next level of your uh, you know skill right so what we have done so far uh, some statistics module one of course we have got a lot of statistics i didn't want to clutter the page here so i wanted to keep it very simple uh, you know uh, uh, total participants in uh, module one, we had around 300 and we had, uh, you know, two sessions which focused on several key aspects of the industry. Uh, we had, uh, you know, series of technical deep sessions where we had, uh, you know, 569, 570 people attending these sessions, uh, you know, pretty intense sessions uh, led by uh, Mr. Selva Raju. He's our star faculty. We had Deepak Chaudhary who was instrumental in kind of imparting you knowledge from his real hands-on experience and for sure Deepak Singh was uh, you know orchestrating the whole program uh, we had quizzes and uh, uh, you know we saw particularly people were pretty uh, intensely coming into quizzes and they were participating in that assignments 
we were giving because so that you know what you learned you should go and write something on a daily basis so pretty you know exciting uh, you know journey that you know we have seen so far and uh, you know a lot of uh, you know quizzes were given to people people uh, you know we we watched their uh, participation in the program we watched their uh, assignments we watched their quiz performance uh, we in fact we looked at all the aspects and uh, with that you know we have people who have come out you know with flying colors so i definitely i wanted to congratulate ritika singh who has come out as the the first ranker in the whole 569 plus people who participated in module 2 so many many congratulations ritika singh uh, uh, do we have ritika singh with us today archana Deepak Singh, am I audible? No, no. Yes, sir, you are. Uh, unfortunately, no, sir. Uh, she was really. Uh, first of all, we're happy that we that she hit this number and she was uh, the top ranker. But unfortunately, she got occupied in uh, okay in some in our institute, so she couldn't join us. Excellent. Yeah. So many congratulations, Ritika, and uh, we would lo love to uh, you know see you as one of the uh, you know active builders in this space and uh, make contributions this to this Web three community. uh let's let me go to the next rank holder uh, shiva terala now i think uh, when we are talking about such a big crowd and uh, you know people uh, getting into these are not simple topics by the way guys these are very very intense topics you need to really uh, put a lot of hard work and effort uh, to kind of do uh, you know uh, good in these sessions so shiva uh, you know many congratulations to you for coming uh, you know the second ranker in Uh, the whole program module two, such a wide participation. Do we have Shiva today? Yes, sir. We have uh, Shiva. Would you like to go ahead? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, hello. I'm audible, right? Yes, yeah, Shiva. Hey, many congratulations, buddy. So, would you want to share your experience yeah. in module two? Yeah, definitely, definitely, sir. Please so, go ahead. Yeah. So let me introduce myself. So I'm Shyamma Terala. I'm currently pursuing my final year B.Tech at JNTH College of Engineering. So uh, I recently attended this uh, IBC Continuous Education Program. So I'm glad to announce uh, that I am ranked to holder. Okay, and then the the program was very immersive and enriching experience. Uh, it helped me to develop a strong understanding of blockchain technology. And I didn't even know what's the rush programming. So uh, by Selvaraju sir's excellent uh, teaching and live debugging helped me to a lot. lot uh, I allowed the rush programming. And next, uh, we in this program we covered a lot of topics like fundamentals of blockchain and cryptocurrency and smart contracts using in programming. Yeah, a lot of things. So I I learned a lot about the blockchain. so i am ready to uh, and you know major project in my college i am ready to develop a, a p2p ride sharing using blockchain project and i request the admins to help in the project too uh, and to my upcoming fellows i i can say that so uh, we we should ready to accept the what we are learning so open open mind will be helpful to learn new things so yeah thank uh, ibc media team uh, for giving us such a uh, wonderful opportunity to learn yeah thank you sir thank you thank you shiva and i think this journey doesn't stop here this is just the beginning and uh, we are there to help you in your uh, journey of pursuit of excellence and uh, you know uh, i am 100% sure that you will be one of the uh, one of the uh, persons who will be building something really meaningful for this web3 industry thank you okay uh, let me go to the next person uh, uh, you know subhankar uh, venkat mahanti so uh, again as i said earlier this is this was not easy and uh, you know uh, we had people sweat through this process and i definitely want to recognize the attention the the commitment that you guys have shown uh, many congratulations uh, subhankar uh you know uh, for the achievement that you have do we have suhankar by the way yes sir yes sir we do yes, yes suhankar please go ahead yeah suhankar please go ahead and uh, share your experience of module 2 in brief 
Uh, yeah, good afternoon, one and all present here. This is Subhankar. I'm pursuing BTEC second year in CSC at GUPC YZ. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank IBC Media for giving me this opportunity. Um, well, I have been also part of uh, IBC Alltech YZ. So I have been continuing my journey in blockchain and uh, IBC CEP. I would say it was a really wonderful journey, you know, learning a lot about uh, how to build blockchain, you know, uh, working with pilots. Uh, and in fact, it was my first ever uh, project. Uh, it was first time I was able to build something and I could see uh, it's working. Uh, I'm really glad that I was in this uh, part. I was part of this. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I would like to also say one more, one more thing that uh, the during the sessions, uh, our doubts that were uh, clarified by the IBC team, uh, I was uh, really grateful for that because, you know, the you know, everyone was really helpful in clarifying our doubts during the question and answers. And yes, uh, I think it was really wonderful. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking to build the project. Uh, you know, uh, our team already got third position in uh, IBC Alltech Advisor. And we are expecting to work with uh, the mentors and, I mean, uh, get guided by the mentors and uh, work with the project. And uh, hoping to get the internship as well as uh, getting a good position in the hackathon. Thank you, guys. Many congratulations. Yeah, I mean, many congratulations, Subankar. And I remember you. I have met you. And uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys, uh, you know, will be uh, making some serious inroads into this industry. Uh, IBC Media is standing with you. And one of the uh, one of the motives that we have with us is to uh, take this technology to you people and help you, uh, you know, uh, you know, make inroads and build products. Uh, you know, by learning the technology. So well done, and uh, uh, we'll be interacting in uh, the next session as well. Okay. Uh, uh, so these were our uh, top three rank holders. But beyond these, we had, uh, you know, several people uh, who, uh, you know, uh, were uh, very close to, uh, you know, the perfection. And, uh, you know, these are certificates of, uh, you know, merits have been issued by IBC Media to all these people. Many, many congratulations to all of you. Uh, in the interest of time, I will kind of, uh, you know, go to the next slide. But then all of you basically, you know, uh, uh, who were part of the module two with the attention, the commitment, the dedication that it needed. Uh, of course, we feel happy when I look at these certificates, to be really honest with you. But I think you guys have, uh, you know, achieved a feat which lays the foundation of, uh, you know, of, of a bright future, bright career in Web3. And I'm meaning it. I'm not just saying for the sake of saying this. Uh, this is going to be very, very uh, differential experience what you will be getting here. Okay, what you have got here. So why join Model 3? And I, as I was telling earlier, that uh, Module 3 is the place where you will be putting your uh, you know, uh, the tools to use, basically. You know, you understand palettes, but how do you use palettes? Why do you use palettes? Do you go and use some default palettes or you want to build your own palette, right? Now, all these things, uh, now with a basic understanding of blockchain, the consensus mechanism, how do you arrive at the next block? You know, how do you, uh, you know, what kind of fees do you charge when you with your transactions? Who all are the stakeholders? What roles they are playing? Many of these things, the business angles and the tech angles together, we will be working with you. And what we are saying that we are not leaving you in the ocean, but we are there with you, sailing through you, sailing through this journey. Absolutely, absolutely, right. Pramin, sir. So, sir, before we continue with this uh, module through uh, module three, uh, uh, I would also just like to point out to all the students here, uh, because I know a lot of you were part of the CEP. So, the certificates that we just discussed. Uh, is addition to the education certificate that the students will be getting. Praveen sir, you would like to elaborate on that for a minute? No, absolutely. So education certificate we had, like we had mentioned in the beginning of the program, that education certificate is going to be issued to people who qualify, uh, you know, who meet the requirements of the module two program. And of course, many people have been, you know, rewarded with the, uh, you know, the education certificate, which, uh, which you know, which demonstrates their, uh, course completion in module two, but the certificate of merit and uh, the top rankers of the program, of course, these are additional certificates which have been issued to some people with respect to uh, their achievements that they have 
you know apart from completing the module right i mean that is definitely a, a differentiating factor uh, but of course all people who have been who have achieved the requirements of the module 2 they have been given the education certificate plus there are some other people who were uh, you know who were not uh, completely meeting the requirements but then they of course they have put in lot of effort and we have issued participation certificate as well so of course there are different things but my uh, my uh, request to you is that of course more than of course these certificates what you should also keep in mind that you are on a journey and people who are going to be joining module 3 uh, you know they will be uh, uh, they will be evaluated for their work that they do in module 3 which will lead you to an internship certificate which will be valued uh you know in your job search for example uh if you are able to build something which is fan fantastic we may help you in getting investments you may be eligible for some grants from some of these uh, you know uh, blockchain projects you will be working on some real world product building which is not a small thing and there are examples of these use cases where uh you know uh, these products become massively big in due course of time if you are on the right path right and uh, for sure uh, you are building your skills in web3 whatever be your interest area if you are thinking no i just want to work in the the front end side please go for that if you are uh, working in the back end side of the world blockchain side of the world go for that you should be i will be encouraging you to form a team which is complementary in skills so for example you have you already may have team such as you know people who are coming from the wisag on ground alt hack they may already have team well and good please go ahead but if you are forming the team try to get the right skill set combination you may want to focus on one area your team member uh, could focus in another area so i think i leave that to you but then of course by doing all these things you are getting entry into the web3 industry and by ibc's effort untiring effort uh, you know by uh, you know getting you a uh, lot of uh, connections in the industry in terms of their open opportunities what are they needing are you really in in on the on the path of getting those skill sets so i right i think there are a lot of things which you will be accomplishing in this uh, you know uh, next module we have talked about this student roadmap i'll be brief here that these are all hack programs one after another so don't stop here don't stop by after participating in one cep get to the next cp get to the next building phase okay get to the next uh, you know learning opportunity there so that ultimately at the end of the day uh, you know uh, uh, you have to work hard you have to work continuously i was giving an example in wisag that when you go and pull water from a well you do it by you know ropes nowadays i think there are a lot of pulleys and all that but if you go and do that if you look at the the stone that a stone gets kind of uh, you know solid marks by soft ropes right so the point what i'm trying to say is that if you continue working if you continue building uh, in some time you will definitely become an accomplished builder so this is something which we strongly and highly encourage and recommend okay and of course some of these uh, demand growth statistics in engineering roles you cannot imagine uh, you know at what rate uh, these roles are getting you know uh, created in this industry because this industry is at a rapid pace uh, you know uh, innovations happening lot in uh, lot more people are required in this industry such as the advancement in technology is happening pretty pretty fast such as you know uh, uh, the zk has come uh, zero knowledge has come which is going and transforming several areas you know identity has been a big problem you know uh, decentralized identity is another big problem in this this industry is facing there are several interoperability is another big challenge that this industry is facing there are several things which are happening which are creating demands and uh, roles of people who know the subject basically you know uh, uh you know of course we will we are working on our uh, product side and we'll have lot many uh, you know uh, all of these consolidated at a product level where you will be having different jobs you will be getting access to several uh, you know several the the content that we have at one place we will be making this journey for you much 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 easier you know uh, just be be a part of the journey that's very important so uh, of course this is sample certificate what we are showing right now but then uh, we will take pride uh, 
uh, in issuing the internship certificate to you uh, once you complete the the process once you complete the uh, you know uh, uh, complete the building process we do we do understand that in next two months time it may not be possible for you to complete the whole product but of course uh, this uh, building process has to go on and you need to be able to complete the mvp stage we will put, we will be putting you through the the you know uh, the sponsors who will be coming and evaluating you and uh, you will be learning a lot in this in this in this process so uh, uh, deepak how are we doing with respect to our sorry with respect to our guest speakers for today yes sir so uh, i'm extremely happy to say that we are uh... On time, and our speakers have joined, so so we can uh, continue with our conversation. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, we have Parth today. Parth Bhalla. Uh, Parth is uh, founder of Threely, and uh, I will let Parth talk about his experience as a developer, one of the young developers. And uh, Parth, very glad to have you as part of uh, this talk. My name is Praveen. Hi, Praveen. How are you? I'm great, and again, thank you for joining us. And uh, we have this IBC program in which we help people understand this space. We help people build, and that's the journey that we are taking our participants through. So uh, we, we would love to hear you, and in fact, your the participants here they would love to hear your experience in development and how exactly you find this space. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, first off, thank you for having me here. Actually. I uh, was actually on a call with uh, with a bunch of you guys from uh, you know from IBC and you know I think I've had been in touch for about three or four months now and then or more and then you know you know just seeing the progress it's great what you guys are doing um, you know spreading sort of Web three here in India I mean obviously like it's it's already well it's already well built the whole Web three infrastructure on I wouldn't say the infrastructure but sort of the community here in India and I think you guys are also a huge part of that. Um, alongside, you know, obviously the, the big companies that we do have currently today. So being like a Web3 developer here in India, being like a Web3 engineer or builder here in India, um, you know, it's it's actually, you know, it's it's one of the best things that, that that's happened in Web3. Um, you know, we haven't we haven't had that opportunity in Web1, you know, in Web2. It was all in San Francisco, all in California, all in Silicon Valley, right? Now we've got Web3 and a, and a good part of it here is is here in India. So I think it's it's a huge deal. It's you know it's a it's a huge opportunity to sort of capture, and everybody you know who's you know co coming into the industry from India, um, especially right now as well. It's it's uh, you know they're they're definitely going to be, you know uh, you know it's it's going to be so worth it. So a quick blurb on myself. You know I won't won't take a lot of time. So a quick blurb on myself and uh, what three leads up to how actually I got in. And what I sort of envision within, you know, envision for the next couple of years in Web3, what are some of the, you know, core pain points that that I personally see? So I'm 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 Parth. I've essentially been in, you know, Web3 for about eight and a half years or crypto, blockchain, you, you know, it's a bunch of different names for the same thing. Um, it's decentralized technologies, right? I've been I've been in decentralized tech for about eight and a half years, almost nine now. I got in super early when I was 13. Um, the story behind it, it was pretty crazy. It was actually researching how BitTorrent, right, the, the torrent system sort of worked. And then I was, you know, diving deep in. I've been a techie all my life. I was diving deep in and sort of saw that, you know, saw the mention of decentralization. Because if you think about a torrent is a decentralized storage, right? You store a bunch of different pieces of a file. The other party stores a bunch of different pieces of the file as well. So it's a decentralized storage, right? I read the word decentralized storage and I was like, wow, this is crazy. Um, and that's sort of the rabbit hole I went down into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was up by then. Ethereum was being launched uh, back in back in 2012 and 13, sort of middle as well. And that's how I got into the rabbit hole. Um, I was actually each, you know, one of the first couple hundred miners back uh, back in like 13, 14 post that. I was Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Zcash is um, sort of core early contributors, core teams in some as well. These are these are the crypto, you know, the the stable co or you know, essentially the crypto coins of of you know uh, the first like couple cycles of Web three. Now we've got thousands. Back then we we didn't have more than hundred, right? So these were like the core ones. That's that's sort of how I got in. Uh, post that, 2015, 16, I actually built and sold a game five company. So it was so I was actually a huge gamer as well back then, uh, as you know, as, as sort of every kid is. I used to play esports back then, right? 
and I essentially built this platform. It was Tinder, but for esports players. Not not a male to female matchmaking platform, but essentially was um, a you know a skilled player to another skilled player matchmaking platform that I built. And then I added some cryptocurrency sort of subscriptions in there, and then I sold that company to a Dubai based company as well. Um, post that, so I you know grew up here in India, studied in Kota, and then I went to Penn, uh, dropped out of Penn, moved to New York, and then I'm back here in Delhi. But essentially, I also worked with the Delhi government on the CBSE blockchain uh, for a while. And then I also worked with a bunch of different Swiss banks on interbanking communications on chain, all about, you know, transparency, trust, immutability, stuff like that. So that's sort of my journey, like on chain. I've done a, you know, a bunch of cool AI stuff as well. Uh, you know, like all, all my friends pretty much in Web3, they are multifaceted, right? They're not just Web3, Web3, but they have experimented with other industries because that's how you know what gaps exist in other industries, right? Because, you know, a lot of new people in Web3, they're like, you know, we put blockchain on anything and it's Web3, right? We put blockchain on anything and it, it, it's going to make the product a hundred times better. That's, that, that's not how it works, right? You need to sort of tackle the problems that, you know, huge organizations or huge masses of people face today because of centralization, right? For instance, you know, we've seen, um, well, Bitcoin is a huge, it's the best example of decentralized tech. You know, today banks, right? The governments hold everything, all your currencies, essentially everything, right? They own your money. At any point of time, they can tell you that, hey, this money doesn't exist anymore. It's gone, right? Demonetization was one of that, right? It's a good thing, but at the same time, it's it shows um, you know, it's it portrays how powerless you as a consumer are in in Web two world. So Web three is giving Web three is all about giving the power back to the users, so that I own my stuff, I own my money, right? Bitcoin, I own the Bitcoin, right? Nobody owns that Bitcoin for me. Nobody, <clears throat> you know, stores that Bitcoin for me. This also comes with you know decentralized tech, not just Bitcoin. It also comes with a lot of different you know drawbacks, right? It's a double edged sword. So with Bitcoin, I cannot, I cannot go to a party. I cannot go to any bank and tell them, hey, I made this transaction, but on accident, I need this back, right? That doesn't happen. So that's, you know, that's the case with blockchain. I mean, people are trying to solve this. People are trying to do, um, people are trying to actually create new ways of becoming decentralized. So there's, there's this one concept that was very interesting. Um, it was, it was a thing called sustainable decentralization or, or, uh, it was like some part of it is decentralized, some part of it is centralized so that you owned your stuff. But at the same time, if you need some help, if there's some a bad actor in the network, he could be kicked off, but with a consensus-based model. So DAOs today, decentralized autonomous organizations help you bring some sort of governance into your decentralized technologies. But coming back to the point, right? Essentially, Web3, it's, it's a great place to be. Um, I've, I've definitely, you know, me, my friends, the people that I work with, we've seen, you know, multiple different sort of cycles, right? We've, you know, the, the, the last cycle, this cycle, Bitcoin touched a lot of, you know, a great price. Um, all, all of these cycles have pretty much seen them, um, sort of half my life, pretty, pretty young as well right now. Um, but essentially in terms of Threely, what, what we do at Threely and, and what I envision for the future, uh, you know, within Web3 is, you know, my sort of my whole team, it's a six person team. We, you know, I was, I was, I've been in crypto for eight and a half years. The other team members, you know, they've also been in crypto for sort of the similar amount of time. They were, you know, X Ripple. So Ripple was this, it, it is this very huge cryptocurrency uh, This that's working with Dubai government, that's working with multiple different governments. So my team was X Ripple, X Polygon. Everybody knows Polygon. Three of our guys are X Polygon right now. Um, and no matter like where my team worked in the Web3 industry, you know, we saw the same universal user journey, right? The user experience was the same because you've, you've essentially you've experimented with Web3, I'm pretty sure you've used Web3, right? You've used wallets, right? And using these wallets, I I know for a fact, it's very painful for the new users, for the Web2, uh, Web2, Web2.5 natives, right? It's for Web3 is for me, cool. It's easy, but at the same time, it's still very clunky. What Threely does is think Gmail, but for Web3, right? Gmail is your gateway into Web2, right? Gmail is how you connect to Amazon. Gmail is, Gmail is the first thing that you do as you get a new laptop, as you're connected to the internet on day one, right? It's your day one on the internet. 
you're getting your Gmail because that's how everything works, right? You connect your Gmail to Amazon, Twitter, Facebook, Paytm, Google Play, everything, right? Within Web3, that doesn't exist. Within Web3, you have wallets, right? This extension, MetaMask, Phantom, Trust, multiple different extensions. There's more than 82 plus wallets in Web3 and there's more than 300 plus chains in Web3. So for every single blockchain, you need a wallet. For EVMs or you know Ethereum, you need MetaMask. For Solana, you need Phantom, et cetera. So it's really is all about simplifying that and sort of consolidating that um, within one name. So you have this Gmail-like name, pay to Parth, right? Or Lucy on Web3, three words. And you can take these words anywhere with you. You can take this address, this freely address anywhere with you in Web3. You can log in onto dApps with pay to Parth and a password. You're logged in. You can send receive payments, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's this new concept called ZK KYC. Right. I'm pretty sure that you guys will talk about ZK, um, you know, with it, with an IBC, but essentially ZK is all about zero knowledge, zero knowledge proofs, proving that you own something or proving your information without disclosing the information. It's a very interesting concept. I think you guys would definitely like love to learn about it. It's one of the like hottest topics in Web3. Um, but yeah, that's what, that's what Threely is doing. We currently work with pretty much everybody in the Web3 space, Polygon, Binance, um, you know, Tezos, I think you guys might have heard of Tezos, Telegram. So we work with Telegram's blockchain, et cetera. Um, but in terms of Threely as well, we are actually looking to expand the team. Um, also, you know, alongside the founding team, we're looking to expand on the on the engineer developer sort of role. Uh, my team, you know, usually is based out in New York, but we're moving to Dubai. So if you guys are if you guys are interested, happy to also have a chat. I think, um, you know, the IBC, uh, you know, guys will actually share my TG if, if anybody's in uh, my telegram, if, if anybody's interested. But yeah, essentially looking forward to, you know, in, in, within the Web3 space, looking forward to um, me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge DID guy. So I think, um, you know, Praveen also did talk about, you know, just, just mentioned DIDs, decentralized identities. Threely is all about DIDs, right? It's a decentralized identity platform. Um, I'm super passionate about that. I'm super passionate about ZK, right? Because ZK, I think, is going to be this. Right now, the, the Web2 space, it doesn't have any censorship um, resistance. And we need that in Web3, right? We need to, because Web3, you, you might see on Twitter, everybody has these anime profile pictures. They have these cartoon profile pictures. Why do they have that? It's because of the fact that they want pseudonymity, right? They want privacy. Right, so there, ZK brings a lot of privacy-preserving nature in when the Web three space. There's this one very cool concept called AA, called account abstraction within Web three. This is a type of a wallet. Right, today most wallets are they use the underlying tech called MPC, so multi-party computation. I think you guys will definitely go over it. But once you do have the do have the chance, look at AA, account abstraction. It is sort of think wallets in Web3, but wallets 2.0. So that is something that me personally, I want to work on in the future is of, of my company and obviously as a Web3 developer as well. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a, a great things to be excited about, but my two cents would be the fact that, you know, be on Twitter, follow the right people because Twitter is where Web3 is. And then don't hop on to hype trains as you see them because there's going to be a lot of information in Web3. People get overwhelmed. People think, oh, wow, there's this new tech. Let's hop on board. And then a couple of weeks later, it's dead. Because Web3 is moving very fast. There's new technologies every single day. There's new solutions every day, right? My company wanted this decentralized database that we didn't have a week ago. But then two days ago, a friend hit me up and they were like, hey, we've built a decentralized database, right? Decentralized database is such a simple thing. It's such a standard um, thing, but it, it didn't exist. So there's a, a lot of new things happening. My two cents would be the fact that wait on seeing what's being solidified, wait on seeing what actually works rather than just jumping on to new hype trains. So yeah, I think that's uh, the sort of a quick blurb on myself. Uh, you know, excited for your guys' journey. I think there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of interesting Web3 uh, in here, right? Web3 is not just developing, but it's a lot of, you know, talking to great people, talking to young people. Um, and yeah essentially building the next internet because people are people don't like centralization and we've seen that in multiple instances in finance at least now there's going to be governance 
social media, there's going to be content creation, everything is going to become decentralized. So yeah, thank you guys for having me essentially. And uh, let me know if there's any help that I could uh, sort of also provide you guys with. Uh, the team will share my uh, telegram. Thank you guys. Hey, thanks, Bart. I was kind of listening to you very, very closely. And uh, what I uh, realized is that in last 10 minutes or so, you covered the whole spectrum of Web3. I think uh, it could not have been more effective. So so thank you for that. And um, yeah. what I want to, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, what I want to tell the participants, look, guys, Parth, there, there are times in your life where you meet somebody who inspires you. And I, I can tell you, I have spent 25 years in this industry. I have worked across the globe. Uh, I have worked in New York that Parth talked about. I was heading, you know, uh, uh, Tech Pahindra's Citibank North America's operations. I have done whole life. I started with mainframe development 25 years ago. If uh, if you guys have heard of mainframe uh, technologies, which was the state of the art in that point in time. But I also love the technologies which are here right now. We talked about ZK. ZK has got potential of revolutionizing the whole, uh, you know, blockchain space in terms of, you know, uh, in terms of several areas, basically. Now we can, of course, uh, we will talk about all those things. Storage, we talked about. Uh, we talked about IPFS. We talked about things, you know, the you know, things happening in this space. So, like like Parth mentioned, this space is moving at a at a speed which you cannot think think even. Now, uh, can you do everything? No. So my my request, like Parth mentioned, is that uh, look for something which you really like build the foundation and one thing that i will uh, recognize here is that you should appreciate this world this world little more closely and then things will start making sense to you so i think um, wonderful path i think um, very glad and i think uh, my team uh, you know uh, is very uh, all the participants here they are you know very excited to have you speak to them and uh, if they need any help for sure we will reach out to you for you know your help and guidance to Anybody, you know, here who wants to get into Web3 space. Right. Okay. Uh, thank you, Pat. Thanks again. Um, I'll move on to my uh, next, uh, you know, guest speaker, uh, Rushil Chawla. So I'll tell you how exactly uh, Rushil and I, we met. We were part of uh, one uh, industry panel in which Rushil and I and one of my, uh, one of our other friends, you know, uh, panel, we were discussing on uh, Web3. And uh, it was, you know, I was so... Uh, fascinated so i think uh, there's some network issue hey rushil uh, it's really nice to have you hey 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 hi hi guys what's up i hope you all are doing good and i hope i'm audible um yeah, so, rushil, so... Uh, before we begin uh i really wanted to uh uh, wait for Praveen sir because I think he had some really interesting points to share about you uh, with our participants before we begin with the conversation. So let's just yeah, wait. Deepak, I can you say. hear me? Yeah, uh, oh. yeah, Praveen sir. Yeah, sorry guys. Again, I said there is some in, uh, some airtel challenge happening in my area today, so uh, that's where some this disconnection. But then yeah, so I was talking about I was I was very very uh, you know happily intrigued by the knowledge by the perspective that Rushil brought in that platform, and I said look, I mean. So this field, I mean, uh, has no, I would say, uh, segregation of at what age you are. You could be uh, such at young age. And I think Rushil's perspective, Rushil's knowledge, Rushil's depth in Web3 is mind boggling. I, I just, that's the only word I can say here. And in fact, after that, Rushil and I, we had few other conversations with respect to some other technical, uh, you know, areas. But I, I am very thankful, Rushil. Thank you for uh, coming here and, uh, you know, inspiring the next generation, you know, Web3 developers. I think that is something which, uh, you know, uh, which is so nice of you, uh, you know, spending time with, you know, all the people. So would you, uh, you know, uh, would you be please sharing your journey as a Web3 developer, Rushil? Um, sure, sure. Uh, Praveen, sir, absolutely. Thank you so much, first of all, having me here. Um, Second of all, uh, Parth, um, your points were on on spot. They 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 actually hit um, all the aspects of um, today's agenda. Um, so first, let me start with my introduction, right? So hey, folks, I'm Rushil, as you might know by now. Um, I'm quite passionate about uh, technology as a whole, and hence um, I'm a Web three developer. Uh, 
in, in the Web3 field per se. I work with a few clients here and there as freelance because I do not have enough time to devote to proper um, companies, right? So um, I'm still six, 16, 17, that's why. Um, I, I'm currently working on a few projects to name a few would be um, NFT marketplaces and, you know, some side projects. Um, I'm from India, uh, Mumbai, and I feel that Web3 is the right place for me because I like to impart my knowledge as well as Web3 just provides with the ideal opportunity to interact with new people, go in communities and stuff like that. So yes, I play a significant role in communities and DAOs. Um, I per se host various community gatherings and, you know, um, I educate people upon blockchain um, in various communities. To name a few would be like Kronos, Nestify, Growth School, um, and, and, if some, and a few more. So yeah, that, that's something about me. Now coming to my journey when I started, so, so by age, I was around 14, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. 13, 14, uh, when me and my friends used to post tech content on the internet, right. We used to post, um, daily news and, you know, tech info, um, you know, good, good piece of information on the, on the, on, on Instagram per se. So from there only, you know, um, we heard, you know, Bitcoin and stuff like that. And we search, search slowly research about it more to actually post about, post about it on our handle. So we did that and, you know, that's where I got the exposure of decentralization and Bitcoin because I was an existing developer, um, the backend technology, um, excited me the most. And that's why I went into, and, um, you know, started digging deep about blockchain development and, you know, um, about 2020 or 2019 Febish, Yeah. I, um, started a core development and uh, built a team for myself to actually freelance together a few friends here and there um yeah so that was quite fun as well um yeah so that was my journey in a small nutshell but now to come to the real crux that i would like to present to everyone here is the opportunities that this field has to offer for everyone right it, it is an immense pool of various um you know roles coming together in order to actually simulate a project so when you talk about a project from, from developers, it's not only, you know, you just, if you want to join the web three field, you just have to be a developer. You could pursue choose immense opportunities, immense fields, immense roles that excite you as, as a person, right. And actually get into stuff, what you like rather than, um, getting on with the hype, you know, um, if there are hundred developers, you do not want to be the hundred and first developer. You want to be the first in another field, right? So. That's what should be, the, should be the mindset of one uh, person in, you know, um, the ideology that I call it. So to, to start with a few, you know, just, um, uh, naming here and there, um, you could per, per se be a UX designer, um, uh, a, a content posting manager, a, you know, a YouTube, you could, you could probably start your YouTube channels. You could be a developer, you could be a devrel, you could be a lot of things in this field. And this field is immense to offer a lot of things to, um, to each and everyone. And, you know, it caters the need of each and everyone, um, in, in, in per se, each and everyone's aspect. Uh, now what I have in mind and request to you guys is just don't get into the hype, right? As Path rightly said, the hype train, correct? So, um, what is the basic crux here is that people nowadays are getting into web three because it's the new normal, right? It's trying to be the new normal and why people actually know about, uh, cryptos and stuff like that. But the actual reason should come within oneself. Like for me, the reason was I actually liked development and backend, and this was not something new. So for, for many of us, um, blockchain is something that came up, let's say two years ago, but it is a technology that is rolling out from a long time, right? Say 10 to 20 years, or maybe, you know, around 10 to 15 years. So, so the main ideology that we have to focus here is get a reason for yourself, right? Um, be it any field, you want to be a designer, you want to be a content writer or whatever. So actually get into that particular reason that, that this field excites you about, right? The reason could be as simple as you want to earn a little higher than you actually do. You want to get a side gig or whatever. So, um, now I'll talk about generally the freelancing side. That's what I'm into. 
Um, so freelance in Web3 is something that is very common, right? Um, and it actually um, excites lots of people because it actually gives you your perspective. So let's say now a company um, calling the company ABC, right? So ABC wants um, something to do with content, right? They want someone to write on their Instagram handle. They are a Web3 company. So you're into the Web3 space with that company, but writing content for that Instagram, right? You could be a developer, a freelance developer. You just make their platform and then exit, right? Um, and, and freelance is something that gives you freedom, according to me. Not, not because I'm a freelancer, I'm saying that, but it actually does. Yeah, and um, the last thing that I would like to cover is the development side, right? Because, because I have a little more experience in development side. So development is quite um, needed. It's a need of our, right? Um, in fact, you can, you can have immense reasons to be a developer, but uh, it is actually the need of the hour. So many companies are trying to now understand the crux of decentralization. They're trying to understand why centralization is not actually apt for them. They're trying to understand and solve problems of the real world where centralization is failing actually. And to actually get those platforms on or actually to get those problems converted into solutions, um, developers are needed, right? So that's where I would like to say is that just don't, you know, um, lose your creativity cap ever, right? Always keep on your creativity cap on and actually indulge uh, with as many people as you can, right? In order for getting new projects and whatever, you know, just socializing with people, understanding the their perspective to this field. So coming back, um, that's where developers are important. And what I feel is that um, whatever technology excites you the most, you should actually consider it if you are in the path of becoming a developer. It could be Ethereum network, it could be Solidity, it could be Solana, it could be Rust uh, for Solana, or it could be any Hyperledger fabric or private networks, right? You could you could go in either of the one, depending upon what excites you the most, not as well as upon the market demand. So yeah, that was one part. And to conclude with, I would like to mentioned one thing, Web3 is a space where you actually can interact with a lot of people, right? Um, be it this uh, IBC media hackathons or projects, be it any Discord communities, be it, um, you know, any meetups and stuff like that, which Web Web2 lacks as a whole, right? So that's where one could actually come up and um, get along with a lot of new folks, a lot of new li like-minded folks and actually get, get to something to build something to actually explore the field as a whole. So, um, yeah, that was my short bit here. Um, a wonderful, in, um, you know, initiation by IBC media here. Um, thank you so much for being so that's all. Yeah. Thank you, Ushil. And I think, um, uh, when when I met you first time, I was really inspired by you. And to be honest with you, and when I met Parth today, I am really inspired by what you guys do. And, uh, you know, I always, uh, I am a voracious learner and I learn from all of you, you know, and I will request everybody to learn and emulate the things that you guys are doing. So, you know, hats off, huge respect to Rushil you, huge respect to Parth you. And uh, absolutely. Uh, we definitely want to uh, thank you for taking out time and uh, speak to the participants because at the end of the day, we all are trying to build this Web3 community. I was listening to one podcast. I'll just take reference that where is this technology going from here is totally, you know, unpredictable because, you know, the things are changing at a, at a pace which is unthinkable right now, right? So just be a part of the journey, enjoy, and uh, I think, uh, you know, um, mm, have fun in this space. I mean, that's what is my, uh, my, 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 my two cents here. But of course, be a part of the serious building process. Thank you. Uh, right, so, thank you so much for this opportunity. If any help yeah. needed, just call me out. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for offering that. And uh, uh, like, like Parth mentioned, like Yurushil mentioned, this space is should not be easy. And like I always say that, if it is so easy, then I think uh, it's not that worth. This this space will throw enough challenges in your face, enough challenges in your way, and you'll have to uh, you know get across them, learn new technologies, be on the edge, 
you know of learning new things and uh, you know don't uh, you know be uh, don't be uh, i would say don't shy away from getting into things which you don't understand i was reading somewhere that if somebody asks you can you do something first say yes and then learn it i mean that should be the attitude what you should have and that's how you know you become you know you you become uh, a solid contributor right um, that's pretty much i guess in my uh, uh, today's uh, session from ibc media uh, where we kind of uh, you know uh, we went through the journey that ibc media is trying to uh, uh, get to uh, all the uh, you know future i would say web3 developers participants and any and all contributors like rushil talked about you could be a community person you could be a you could be a content writer you could be a designer uh, and all these things merge here so when you talk about a metaverse it doesn't really have coding only but it has got the uh, environment building you 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 may uh, you may come from the web2 space where you know how to Uh, you know build this uh, metaverse environments you could be uh, you know the nft person you could be elements creator you could be so i think it i mean roles are many basically you know um i think uh, that pretty much uh, deepak singh from my side and again i would like to thank all of you participants for taking our time uh, to join us today and get some perspective and i am 100% sure that you would definitely have got inspired by listening to parth and rushil uh, who at such a young age have already accomplished so much uh, you know which uh, all these efforts make them an inspiration for others to kind of get into their shoes and not only do what they're doing try to do more what you know uh, they are still trying to right i mean that's what is the and and one thing i'll tell you uh, before i conclude from my side is that this field is extra supportive you must keep that in mind this is this place is not something where people keep things to their heart and close and don't share with other this place like uh, like both of our guest speakers today talked about that uh, you know people are extra helpful if you go and ask them they'll come forward help you in making your life easy so i think uh, thank you so much for uh, you know joining us today thank you guest speakers uh, parth and rushil and many congratulations to all the achievers today uh, our rank holders in module 2 and all the certificate of merits and all other people who have qualified for education and participant you know participation certificate so thank you so much uh, from praveen thakur uh, you know ibc media and uh, i hope all of you would have a fantastic building experience in module 3 thank you deepak all right thank you praveen sir thank you rushil thank you parth it was amazing to hear you guys out i mean uh, it is amazing how much uh, content and topics we covered in the past 30 35 minutes it was incredible and i'm sure uh, guys uh, a lot of uh, these uh, participants as uh, we all know are still in their institutes in their colleges and Uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to go anywhere else to look for inspiration right the people who joined the guest speakers who joined us today rushil and parth are themselves very young and rushil uh, and i i think they are still going to join their colleges and uh, soon and i think uh, you can obviously take a lot of uh, encouragement from what they have already achieved uh and uh, it's always exciting to learn from people because that is how uh, i mean that's how you get to challenge yourselves and there's no better way out and i'm i'm glad that uh, these uh, uh this time we were able to uh, get up get up opportunity to get these guys to speak with us and discuss uh, their thoughts and inputs and share that with all of you so moving on to the next agenda which is basically the final agenda and most of you might already be aware because uh this is the most important thing that uh, will help uh, that will get you into the module 3 right so the the so guys uh, uh, i have as i have already shared the form link where you will be registering your team so make sure you click on the form and you go and register yourselves and uh, so what what will happen is that once you register we'll be allocating you your experts uh, to your team and then we'll start with the ideation process so make sure you do not delay uh, let me just put the form link once again in case any of you has missed it right so once you register the form we'll uh, take a look at it so yeah uh, it's not uh, i mean it's not necessary for you to you know uh, come up uh, with your entire team right away the form is edit editable so what you can do is you can you know submit the form uh, 
if you have your team members well and good if you don't you can just uh, enter the details of yourself and then later on when you add more members to your team you can just go and edit the form and add their respective details as, as well so what happens is that the form remains open and we keep updating so if you want to collaborate with some, somebody else and you have new ideas that you want to work upon with somebody who has a similar idea so all that collaboration can uh, work and uh, proceed in a very smooth manner so we wanted to make that as a very important aspect of this entire process so that you guys don't face any restriction as far as team building and ideation is concerned so make sure you go and register yourselves for the cep module 3 by entering the details of your team and your team members the team could be of the size of you as an individual or it could be uh, up to four members so that will be the best way to i mean you will be the best person to decide for yourself if you want to work with yourself or you want to work with the, your team who will have different uh, skills like Praveen sir has already touched upon the thought that somebody would be better at front end somebody at the back end or if you think you can handle all of it then you can just go and register yourself as an individual team so make sure you do that and uh, we are open to questions and if you have any doubts uh, some of the questions that we had we have already addressed them if there's any other question that you might have then uh, please feel free uh, to put in them right away if you think uh, uh, I mean, if you don't want to uh, discuss right away, then you can obviously reach us out on our Discord as all of you are already there. And I, if I were you, I would not delay anymore because uh, the sooner you register your team, the sooner we'll be able to allocate you the mentors and the sooner you will be able to come up with your ideas. And then obviously in the next couple of days, we'll start with the building process where we'll be helping you out. Our IPC experts will be there continuously guiding you in this entire process. Once again, I would like to thank each and every one of you to all the students who took out the time here because I know it's not easy. There is there is college that you have to attend to. There are uh, a lot of other responsibilities as well. And uh, as I said uh, in the initial remarks that all of this, what we are doing is totally worth it. And uh, without a doubt, I am extremely happy that uh, we could have experts and mentors uh, such as uh, Praveen sir himself and then obviously uh, Parth uh, who could come and share his thoughts in Rashid, right? So you, uh, you can go and check out their uh, personal profiles and you can connect with them and share your ideas and thoughts and discuss because as all of them have mentioned, right? This is uh, blockchain is not just about building or coding. It's also about networking. So that is what basically differentiates Web2 versus Web3 because when you network, you learn, you exchange ideas and you start building because most of it is all virtual right i mean it's uh hyper local uh, it's not necessarily hyper local like uh, most of the web 2 used to be this is global and make sure that you use this opportunity and connect with all of these people drop in your uh, uh, and obviously you have thousands of people on our discord server you can just go and connect with any of them anytime you want to have or share or exchange ideas this could be people from your institute this could be people from other institutes or ibc hackfest ecosystem people as well so try to connect with new people so you can discuss on new ideas and you can collaborate which will help your own building process and the learning curve that you gain from the ibc cep process uh, i don't see any questions here i uh, i think the most of the queries were regarding the building three and the registration so that has already been addressed uh, I would request uh, uh, all of our panel members, if they have any comments, please, uh, uh, if we can uh, add some more comments, if you have, if you want to share some more inputs to our students, Praveen sir, Selva sir, Deepak Chaudhary, uh, Dhruv, Pr Priscilla, if any of you want to add any of any more comments to this entire exercise uh, before we end the call. No, I'm so, uh, Yeah, sorry, Priscilla. Uh, go ahead. No, no, no. I think so. Uh, I was saying that uh, it was uh, a great experience in module one and module two. And I'm sure uh, module three will be even uh, more challenging, but uh, more learning. And module three will, uh, you know, I started my career in, you know, data steel where we used to see iron ores and coal ores being put in the furnace. That was one part of the factory. And from the other side, we used to see, you know, the uh, coils coming out, you know. And in that process, from the start point to the end point, so many things happen. 
so i think you guys have been put into furnace in module 1 i mean not literally uh, but then yeah after that you know you will be going through that grinding process but believe me the the end coil that used to come out when when i used to see that end coil then it used to be so satisfying that okay all the effort that you have put in the whole steel making process that was worth so i think that's what we you are going through so i am pretty excited about it uh, look at uh, the guest speaker that we had and you would definitely need to know that these people started their uh, you know things at when they were 12 13 and 16 and 18 and now when you look at what they really have accomplished so the point is that it is all effort it is all your interest it's all your commitment uh, i think uh, it's 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 going to be beautiful believe me okay yeah that's pretty much deepak from my side yes sir so yeah, we have one question and i guess uh, So, yes, sir, sir, uh, what I uh, the input that I had was that uh, you know basically uh, coal becomes uh, diamond only under immense pressure, right? So now uh, to become to reach that level, now you have to keep uh, building that pressure to finish and come out with an MVP. So good luck to all of you guys. Uh, you have done wonderfully well so far. Now uh, some more amount of patience to bring out uh, the product. Uh, in front of the world and showcase your talent okay so this is the right time and we are there for you guys 24 bar 7 we are available i am a late sleeper so don't bother, bother about disturbing me at all uh, as soon as i see any message on the discord i will come online okay so we'll be there for you and uh, we'll walk you through we'll do the hand holding wherever needed so we are there for you so that's the most important thing okay so we want to see absolutely wonderful projects coming out of this uh, cohort so good luck to all of you see you guys thank you selva sir uh, pravin sir we have one question so can we get a rough estimate of deadline for project submission i know we have discussed about the timeline but i wanted to give a more structured view of that question so uh, that's very good question so um, what we will be doing basically is that we will be starting with the team formation Uh, which will be the foundation as I, as i always say that uh, choose the team which you think will be the next billion dollar company team okay and please do that fast don't take so much time on that and of course deepak singh will be sharing with you exact timeline but uh, but once you have that then you will be kind of working on the ideas as to what exactly needs to be built some of you may already have an idea uh, some of you may need help in getting the right idea our team will help you in that and then we will be getting to the business solutioning part as to how why exactly this business uh, solutioning is required to be built that will be uh, maybe some time and then we will get into the architecture and the design part and then development part so i think uh, the in my opinion we should be trying to finish our team formation and addition as soon as possible so that we get to the, the actual work on the business solutioning side i uh, uh, you know if you know what i'm saying so so that you don't really waste too much time in team formation and ideation and the earlier you jump on business solutioning solution architecture and de design development that will be better so i i'm looking at uh, total duration of around a couple of months for you to be able to come up with some mvp and we have to use all the time that we have uh, during this uh, you know time period uh, to maximize the outcome and uh, get to as advanced stage as possible in the product side hope i answered the question deepak yes sir absolutely i think that's to the point uh, so we are looking at couple of months but uh, the sooner we start with the project building uh, uh, right after team formation the sooner the better all right so i think that would be all from uh, the q and a side uh, guys once again thank you very much for joining in that would be all from ibcc ep this afternoon which has now turned into an amazing evening a evening of a lot of knowledge and learning uh, this last one one and a half hours and i am hoping to see all of you do some amazing things in the coming weeks and uh, do not worry about the challenges that you face or uh, whatever it may be we will be always there to guide you in this entire process because uh, it is challenging it is hard Uh, but the point is that you do not have to give up you don't need to give up because uh, i mean it's challenging and that's where the fun lies and that is what will basically test your own uh, uh, skills and get you on a new pedestal once you complete this entire process all right guys uh, it was great 
uh, it was a wonderful session today. Uh, I had I myself took a lot from uh, this, and I'm sure a lot of students here would have taken equally, if not more, from this insightful conversation. Once again, thank you, Praveen sir. Uh, thank you, Selva sir. Thank you, Archana. Thank you, Deepak. Uh, thank you, Dhruv. Thank you, Prasala. And obviously, thank you to the special uh, speakers who came in, the top rankers of IPC CEP module two, who could join us and share their view about our program. Uh, until next time, we will be seeing you soon. Uh, a lot of more information will follow, but make sure that you start with your team building exercise right away so that uh, the time taken to reach to the development phase is extremely short. Try to keep it as, try to do it as soon as possible. And a lot more information follow in your uh, email uh, from IBCCP with timelines and uh, uh, dedicated, uh, dedicated approach that we'll be following for this module three where you will be building with us and we'll be doing a lot more in amazing things that I think a lot of you might not have even thought of. All right, guys, have a great day ahead. Uh, uh, we will sign off from now and uh, until the next session. And uh, uh, make sure that you stick on Discord. You you uh, keep uh, keep yourselves active on Discord because a lot of more information will be following there as well. Thank you so much, guys. It was nice having you all. Uh, it was a great conversation. Have a good day, great day and uh, an amazing week ahead. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.